Well, guess what I found? Yet another place that's needing to sell everything they have. From a, a 20 inch G&E shaper that looks in pretty sad shape. Lots of cutoffs and an old fork lift. The owner died two years ago and they are selling this building. And I think every single thing you see can be had. Ooh, a Stanley. That's rotten. I don't know what that is. No burners. A lot of scrap steel. kind of dark in here. I don't know how well this is going to show up. There's a Series 2 bridge port. Chromed ways. Well, it looked half bad. Feel free to open things up and look around. So <laughs> that was a wrong thing to tell me. The lighting is not very well. The lighting is not very good in here, but screws, bolts, everything goes. Some washers, a little bit of everything. An old time machine shop. A lot of pain in there. Face plates. I 
I didn't even see this area first. Rings. Sprockets. Scrappers would love this place. Thank God I'm not a scrapper. Forgotten machinery back here. Sprockets. Sandblasters. motors, lights, Looks like they built this big metal building around this existing wooden building. this building quite a bit. Alright. The Kalamazoo cutoff. Nice feeder table with it. Racks of metal. Nice press. Painting everything over there for it. I mean, kid, I just can't imagine. Um, this one has a bunch of And here's a Cincinnati. That's a wheel. Space. So notcher. An anchor for your boat. That one's got a bunch of top. I was gonna use this top for this one's seat. All kinds of goodies. A whirlwind. It's an edge sander. You gotta push 
put that little hook on your thing and push oh, it okay. down. All right, great. And if you're taking off yes. that enough, I added that so it drains faster. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. Good size vise. Stock. Looks like a current lathe. need to have an open house garage sale. Oh look, more steady rest. Little brown and sharp grinder. It's number two. Cooling. I found out where he kept it. Cooling. There's a mill vision and sitting over here on Closing Colchester 17 inch. Four inch in there. How much do you want for your lathe, sir? This one is supposed to be sold, and um, I, I, I rock bottomed at seventy five hundred, and that comes with the tooling. Okay, but I think it's gone. I think it's gone. I hope it's gone. I hope it's gone. I'll let you know tomorrow. He's renting a trailer now. He it takes him six hours to get here. Okay. So a little hardgen. Are you talking about this one? Yeah. How much? Seventy five hundred. Jeez. Seems pretty cheap. Uh, I bought a twenty inch axleson with twice the tooling for twenty three hundred dollars. Oh really? <laughs> I need to do like that. <laughs> well, we're in the middle of a really down turn yeah. and the oil field, you know, I bought it off the tool company. It cost me half as much to have it moved. Some wheels for that grinder over there. The motor works, it seems kind of sluggish, but we all seem to like it. What else we got back to? Uh, 
little miller. These lights are flickering. I'm really sorry, but that's all I have today with me. Sorry about the light, guys. Another goodies. Then, got another radio drill. Nice looking drill. Doesn't look like it's been torn up. regular file. It's a nice looking do all that runs. tank sitting there beside it. The 8 by 24 chuck on it. And here's a little Cincinnati grinder. This 
an air spindle on it. Got built-in coolant. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, and then, if you can see in here, pipe bender. It goes with it. A lot of tooling. So I think I came across the honey pine. Did you see this unit? I did, but I didn't know what the hell it was. I think. Go ahead. Go ahead. You need to I'm going to go over the okay. charger. I think it goes on the end of a pipe, and it comes with a motor, and it bevels it. Oh, a pipe bevel. Huh. Now this is There's some a, rings down there. A I, I don't scratch, but I think what this does is it's got a torch, and it was an automatic cutter. Uh huh. Does it have a stand that turns the pipe? Not this was I was going to show you, but that's the cutter I think. All right. Yep. Um, it's gas. Of it's air. gas fed. Mm -hmm. Can be operational again i do not know well i think this allows it to be set up wherever you want it mm -hmm. and then the pipe rotates on a uh, on a stand well maybe that's what this does so is that part of it over there i don't think so i think this is a standalone but this <laughs> um this unit, I believe, this is the air actuators that the bottom fell out and I dropped everything. But uh, I think this goes actually inside the pipe. Oh, okay. And then it does something, either cut it or yeah. bevels it or something. Well, I guarantee you my readers will tell you what it is. Well, here's the thing. It's got to be worth a fortune to the right person. To the right person. Um, find that right person. I'm pretty sure um, it was Mark Chevron. So it's stolen. <laughs> Surplus, probably. If I called the company. It's out of business. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. There you go. Anyway, I'd love to find a home. Yeah. Well, we'll try to find out what it is. Would you need better pictures? If you have some. Um, I can always send them to you, but I can also move it. Well, it's so dark in here. Yeah. This is a cool. Well, what, what do you want for this cabinet and this grinder? Thirty-five hundred. Thirty-five hundred dollars. Um, I was actually offered fifteen hundred for the air jig, mm -hmm. but I wanted to keep it together. I have an air jig just like that one yep. for my grinder, and it's getting rusty. Need to keep it old. I want to find a new home. 
definitely. Yeah. And you know, every, all all the stuff in the cabinet goes with it. I mean, it's it's like every accessory that comes with the machine. There's only one accessory you don't have. What's that? That I see, and it's a tool for grinding uh, wheels. All right, keep your eyes open for where I'm going to show you. Okay. I doubt he left anything. Um, what do you want for this wheel? Thirty-five hundred. Okay. Does it run? Yes, it's powered right now. You can run it. Okay. Um, we didn't put any fluid in it, hydraulic, because we we're going to have to ship it. I don't want to take it out. You will ship things? Yes. See, it's so low. I know a guy that could drop it for you. Oh. Okay. It's a joke. Oh, because I've already dropped one already right here. Oh. And he makes makes a joke to me. Well, his was about four times as big as yours. The guys were playing with that one. Speed it's on. Yeah. His was four times as big as this one. Uh -huh. And he dropped it off the back of a semi-trailer when it's overhead train. Oh, nice. He learned to weld cast iron very well after that. That one, if I had the space, I'd buy it. I just don't have the space. Keep in mind, I have 11 acres. But I don't have the space my wife will allow me to occupy anymore. What do you want for your filer? Thousand bucks. And it, it runs? Works. Comes right on. All right. I love that. I, I like that. Are you your Bridgeport Series 2? It's at price at 6500 And, um... It, it works fine. Okay. You come with any other tooling? Um, whatever we can find for it. Okay. Your Kalamazoo? It's 3500 with the feeder. With the table? Yep. And your big hugger press? The 100 ton press, we have it priced to 5000 Okay. And it's charged right now if you want to play with it. If I play with them, I want to take them home. It's, and it's fun. Work. You know, I see enough YouTubes with my kids. I would have put some stuff on it. Oh, yeah. Really neat. It's a, a, a 22460. Um, it was going to be the shops and replace the smaller one. Okay. Um, How much you want for it? I've got a price of 3000 And also, this is Air Force surplus, so I think it's, you know, military grade. Okay. At least, it, least it's all not rusted up like most of their military service. Are you being willing to sell some of the rounds and scrap pieces I see oh, around absolutely, here? absolutely, absolutely. But we need to do it quickly before it goes to the scrap guy. Because I bundled everything. Okay. Um, for, for doing, doing that kind of stuff. He's good. Check this out. That's something to check out. Copper. Ooh. That one has a little notch out of it. Yeah. Other than that, they're perfect. Retail, eleven hundred and fifty bucks. Yep. Just sitting here. I know. I just found him. Like, what the heck? Why is this so heavy? And then I found um, all this brass scrap here, and there's some more brass scrap over there. I got four drums of coal. Coal. Yes, he was a blacksmith. Oh. Well, that's pretty popular. I know. The guys didn't take the coal. I'm like, I'm going to sell it. And then, of course, this is a cool machine. This is the power supply for this machine over here. It's a tap extractor. A tap extractor? Yeah, you, you put the head on the, the broken tap and it... Disintegrates it. Yeah, it's it disintegrated. And then... Well, I got a friend that does a lot of <laughs> disintegration needs. <laughs> and there's his power supply. I need a, a, he had all kinds of rockets <laughs> to an undertaker. Oh, we have humor here. Um, I like you. <laughs> this is the Sioux um, valve seat. Uh-huh. Um, that does the seats. Musty, here's what you need. And then, what I've been told is you'll take the gun, these guns, and that will go through the, the seats and that 
takes care of the seats. Takes care of them. And then this is a valve grinder and another head. And of course, everybody needs a silo cap. You, you could probably sell that to SpaceX. <laughs> they're building, well, they're water towers, grain silos that fly. That would work. Yeah. I, I think the wiggle, yeah, yeah, well, we looked at it a little closer. This is an interesting and machine. Once we get the, the rest of this out, we'll be able to bring the full thing into the back side. And we're going to just give us, we're going to take them, we'll take them another way to take them. working for thirteen thousand dollars well I can't quite make uh -huh. out what that is can we turn it towards the light yeah. it's it's a all right temperature yeah. and I believe it gives cold dry cool dry air okay for CMMs I see them yeah the thermo stream Okay, well, we'll work on that. We've got plenty of things. No. No, no, none of that. Then you've got a little table saw over here. Yeah, it's a nice table saw. Everybody out of the state wants it. Um, I've got it on eBay. I was about to uh, sell it, but I just don't want to ship it. Yeah, what is it's it? It's too hard to ship. I'm afraid it'll damage. How much you want for it? A thousand bucks. Okay. And it's heavy duty, it's 220, and that's a really cool rotary drive. punch. Yep. And that's pretty much where my step line is. You got I got some more stuff back there, but we can't get to it until we get yeah. cleared. Well, call me and I'll come back and. I run around a lot. I repair gates now for extra money. So did you see my welding stuff? All right, did you I, see did, my I did. I saw the Gordon. Now this one, I don't know um, what shape it's in. Okay. The other one sat, but it's in good shape. The Gordon comes with all the fonts. And then of course I got a plasma cutting table. How much you want for your Gordon? I am going to let you have it for seven hundred and fifty dollars because I just don't know if it works or not. Okay. But everything in here worked. What is that? Another rod oven? No, that's just a uh, palletized box. Okay. Howard. Yes, sir. This is uh, Javier. Hi, Javier. How you doing? He's uh, the one that I told you that he's looking for all this stuff. How you doing? I will find it. Valve right here. There's some boring bars. Those, those are for um, a Volkswagen. A Volkswagen? Yeah. What are they? That's all I know. They're for a Volkswagen. Musty, you need to tell us what these are. I thought they were boring bars, but obviously. There's a very nice guy on YouTube named Musty One. That's his forte. Volkswagens. Got me something. Not much. I don't know. This unit is a 
another TIG and a stick and it comes with this heated rod box which is nice and toasty my friend Don could have lived in this during the freeze well when I was working here I would come over here and <laughs> <laughs> on it. just touch the box And what was it you wanted for this? Um, I'm asking three thousand for both all of that. Okay. And a little miller. And the uh, plasma cutter with the car. Goes with all of this? No, that's, or, that's a little bit more. Okay. People will say, "How much is a little?" I'd say twelve fifty. Okay. Okay. You got a Stanley shear that runs. Yeah, it works. I just put it out here because it's in the way. It's in the way. And then, uh, How much you want for it? Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Stanley unit shear. With thirty-six inch on it. And then this little tool grinder got dropped yeah, it had, an had an accident how much you want for it 300 bucks 300 bucks and there's even a shaper out there that I think scrap value on the shaper is 500 probably about right they're heavy yeah, we just shipped it and it was like 4500 pounds mm. and there's got to be a lot of copper on that engine too I'm sorry you wouldn't take the project on. When I was younger? I just hate to see things like this waste. Yeah. Well, the, the, the problem, you know, we're precision instruments, and this is the surface. Yes. You know, if it was more in demand, then I would have marketed it more. This would fit on my machine to plane it and get the surfaces back, but I don't work for 10 cents an hour anymore. <laughs> 